Sri Lanka has over 15,000 irrigation tanks, which are mainly in the north central plains of the country. The necessity for the building of these reservoirs is the unreliability of the two monsoonal seasons, and in this case, the northeast monsoon. By the 12th century, these tanks were not just individual reservoirs, but were actually interconnected through an intricate cascade system. During the rule of King Parakramabahu, he oversaw the building of 163 major tanks, including the massive Parakrama Samudra, and the country reached its zenith in terms of being a great hydraulic civilization. The brilliance of the people at the time and their grasp of the principles of hydraulic engineering, coupled with mathematics, namely trigonometry, is astounding. The Bisso Kotua, or valve pit, is an ingenious device, created and installed to regulate the flow of water from the tanks or reservoirs. This invention of Sri Lankan ingenuity goes well back over 2000 years. Today, modern technology and systems have replaced the original Bisso Kotua. Technology of high-stress concrete and steel allow us to do this with relative ease. However, in ancient times, stone blocks were shaped and set into the form of the box. This chamber, created out of perfectly set granite, was the secret to controlling the force of water. There are very few which have been preserved and if you are lucky to observe one, it will be part of or next to a tank or wava. The reason for such an invention is that large reservoirs create immense water pressure on the tank buns. To release the water safely without damage to the tank bund, a method was devised to channel and distribute the water to the adjacent paddy fields. This cross-section illustrates the method in which the water was allowed to flow out from the reservoir via a Bisso Kotua pit. The Urusitawaba is found a short drive away from the town of Suryawaba and borders the districts of Monaragala and Hamantata. The reservoir is now called the Mahagama Tank. While there are very few Bisso Kotuas around the country which can be seen, the archaeological department has restored and conserved a few. The ancient Urusitewawa Biso Kotua and Sluice has been protected and is a beautiful work of history to be studied. The start of the site, close to the main road, has the actual Biso Kotua. These massive granite slabs, carved and set into place, have a thickness of around 50 centimeters. The water enters the pit from a single channel from the tank and is then redirected via dual conduits around a 100 meter distance. Huge stone slabs have been placed along the channel to control the water. The water would have then exited from the actual sluice towards the cultivation fields. The facade of the sluice is a breathtaking work of stone craftsmanship. A gorgeous, monolithic, seven-headed cobra is the feature which one sees standing out of the scene. A closer look also reveals details of carved lions below the cobra head. It's believed this symbol was used as a sign of protection. The Urusitawava site and its contents are unique and cannot be found anywhere else in Sri Lanka. Archaeologists have dated the stone carvings to the 3rd century this construction and its amazing hydraulic technology used well over 2000 years ago is a wonder to be seen and appreciated. <laughs>